our new album Rework just came out and um, we're doing a, a short tour just to kind of commemorate the 25 years we've been a band, which is insane. And this album, so it's just a short tour of kind of theatres, uh, like Royal Albert Hall and places like that. And um, we've got uh, strings and brass and vibraphones and you know all sorts of different instruments. And so old. I started off doing a lot of dance music in the late 90s and stuff and I used to sort of DJ as well in clubs and make electronic music and techno kind of music and then um, yeah I've, I've always used sense with music I mean Snow Patrol there's, you know, there's loads of sense and stuff in music it's mainly guitar based but pretty much every song has a sense in it somewhere <laughs> um, yeah and a lot of the bass sounds I, I kind of tend to play bass synth on records a lot of the time, or bass synth and real bass, because I just think it sounds better. You've got more control over the frequencies and stuff, and the, the whole kind of, especially with the sort of subsonics. Matrix 6. The Matrix 6 is a is a digital control synthesizer, so it doesn't actually have any controls on it, and it has the little buttons you press and up and down the menus and stuff. So it's quite amazing having the Matrix 12 on the software to dive straight in with all the presets, and you know it's incredible. Jupiter 8. I fortunately bought it 99, I think, for just over a thousand pound. So uh, yeah, but um, it's funny because since I've I've had this, I, I've I barely I barely plug in, which is a sacrilege. But you know the, the amazing thing is you can stack eight of them together, <laughs> and then bust them and put a filter through them or put a effects on on eight of them at the same time. So and <laughs> it's it's much easier to control. So it's pretty cool. I think if you know the sound you want already, sometimes that's not. It's, it might be too predictable and um, it's always good to try out other things something like the book club which are quite unpredictable since because you never really know what you're going to get and well i don't really know how the, the matrix works in that so i'm just like dun, dun. whoa that's cool you know so those sense are definitely something you can really experiment with but um you know something like a jupiter ray or a prophet or mini mook there's certain sounds in that that are standard sounds that you know everyone knows and loves and they're all something you, you can just bring them up and they're all in there in the presets and it's just there is <laughs> the presets are great and you have you know bass sounds the lead sounds so you can literally just go straight to bass sounds and just flick through until you get something you want and then you know you can tweak it from there the cut off resonance or, and then you've got what you want very quick it's pretty amazing i mean i know quite a lot of it since but when it comes to something like a moog modular I must admit, I probably really don't know. <laughs> Sometimes it's a bit of trial and error. So it's kind of fun just like seeing what happens when you just plug in things together and see what, what comes out. It amazes me like, some of the sounds you get. You're like, I didn't think you could get a sound like that. Gary, you know, he, he writes like literally hundreds of songs. <laughs> I always try to say that to people who ask me advice. I was like, right, oh, 200. <laughs> and then you'll get a good one but you know just on acoustic guitar piano and then we usually you know go in the studio and and just uh, come up the structure together and sometimes you never know what the song is going to be like something like chasing cars when we first wrote that it was almost like kind of a electronic kind of dance track i think we did about five versions of it and then eventually that turned into the song it is so you never know if I just lay here, would you lie with me and just forget the world? Prophet has its own sound. It's quite a kind of, has a high mid range kind of frequency. It's much brighter and harsher than a lot of the other keyboards, but it, it just has like the best bass sound in the kind of unison. Of the oscillators, that kind of chorus, it's almost like something like the, you know, like the Juno chorus or something. It has its own sound that's just 
incredible. You know, it, it's definitely a go-to synth. The Mellotron is great. I actually use the Mellotron with my own samples because I, I just find that there's, you know, some of the string sounds and stuff, you know, we've been used to quite a lot, but there, you know, to get something original, like, like like bits of guitar sounds and then putting them in and layering them. Mm -hmm. They have like a, the, the pedals as well. So you can put the kind of guitars through the pedals and then have distorted guitars, but play it with the keyboard. That's a really cool thing to do with the Mellotron. But the, yeah, the, the presets are amazing. Like some of them, you know, the Beatles kind of sounds and pff, I mean, they're spot on. I've never uh, actually played a Selena before. And the first time I actually did was in the V collection. and. I just realized what it was. I'm like, oh my God, it's, that's where these sounds come from and incredible. So I kind of use that quite a lot. And making the music, you know, is usually quite quick. My favorite part is finishing these songs and then changing them to be performed live. And that's, that's some of the hardest, you know, especially when you know, you've used 20 synthesizers <laughs> in the studio to make an album. Then you, you have something like this and you can have all of them to play the live concerts. I love all the CV Gate stuff on it, and it's, it's kind of has everything all in one. The rate that technology is advancing, I can't wait to see what's going to happen next. You know, it's going to be you know, virtual reality music, and <laughs> we'll have like a, all our moog and a AAA in here and just play them. <laughs> That'd be the next thing. <laughs>